I have been watching these videos from a long time. Because of you name it. A SP. And you know what? I am so happy that it happened. Because my life has changed so much for the better. Since I discovered how to consciously manifest through the teachings of Neville. And I am living the life I freaking desire. First and foremost, I want to explain in my interpretation. On what Neville was teaching. And how much it benefited me unconsciously. And consciously. Okay so. It's a bitter pill to swallow. Such an uncomfortable. Now knowing that you created your own life. Listen, I understand. You and I have been conditioned in so so many ways and years. To think the world we see with our physical eye is the main source of reality. How people SCK, SHT happens and life is so hard that maybe you were doomed to live such a horrible life because either you may experience for many years of the following. For the people raised in an organized religion, there is a man in the sky determining your life based on how good of a practicer you are in your religion. And if you do not obey whatever you are taught you are bound to go to hell if you do not obey. And or, it is okay to not live your dream life. Just give money and tithe to the man-made temple and pray as much as you can so you can go to the gates of heaven. Because that's all that matters. You are not perfect like Jesus so you're a puny human so basically if you fail you just are a pos. But I know a lot of who understand so far where I am getting at. Especially Catholics. Christians. We were taught that Jesus was a man and he was the only perfect being ever to have existed so we were always bound to be sinners unless we follow man-made teachings. Based on this man we have little evidence on ever existing. And maybe we can get get what we are praying for. 2. For the people who are not spiritual and base their lives on logic. Science 24-7. Well, if XYZ is showing me this situation with my physical eye, I shall just accept it and deal with it, because this is a physical fact so why would anything change? So many generations in my family have had a horrible experience with XYZ and science have determined that it is most likely going to happen to me through genetics. Because of XYZ and I am going to automatically trust my doctor's diagnosis. Because they did the work and schooling and they know the outcomes of my life based on my XYZ. So, now I am certain my future kids will have this as well and there is no cure. So, I need to take medication forever even if the symptoms cause me to grow a six toe. Now if you look at my examples briefly it is kind of the same thing weirdly enough. One is following a formula from a man in the sky knowing they are bound to sin. No matter what they do on this earth and they may not get what they want based on bogus man-made teachings, but continue to pray anyway and the other is following a formula from a physical man, knowing they are bound to have whatever disease because of genetics, yet are still following direction although there is no cure whatsoever. And the funny thing about all of this is still they are trusting something outside of themselves, giving up and surrendering, yet still following some sort of technique to maybe still get what they desire, but still being conscious on a version of themselves in that desiring hoping waiting and completely disregarding any hope on being the version of themselves already in the wish fulfilled. Isn't that mind-blowing? Now what I am getting at is that both small examples and conditioning we have has wired us for so many years to believe that something outside of us determines our lives. That things, situations, are complete fact and there is no point to believe something better can happen to us, because this world is obviously so real because of our senses. Neville devoted his life to open our eyes and to see that whatever we freaking want, and desire is already ours, if we allow it to be so, if we decide for it to be fact in our inner world, if we do not give an EFF about what's outside of us but within, and when we acknowledge the fact that the 3D must conform, we won't question or get second opinions. Listen, I am on my third year on these teachings and by all means, I have some bad days, but like Neville said never blame, but resolve. I get right back into it knowing that whatever I desire, it is mine and I walk in conviction knowing whatever I come across it will change for my benefit, because I said so. Now I want to give a brief example on my life that has manifested in a positive way. I desired to own a cat since I was a little girl. Ever since I watched the TV show in the 90, Sabrina. Growing up as an only child, I was pretty lonely and I wanted to have a cat to be my familiar. Fast forward four years ago, the new Sabrina on Netflix came out and obviously, if you watched the show she has a cat named Salem. Mind you, I am 24 at the time, a grown woman still learning, and I looked at my mom and was like mom I want a cat, can we get a cat? And she said no, never going to happen. Sorry cats are gross yuck and I am allergic. So I said EFF it. I have a cat in my imagination, and I fell asleep petting her and loving her and knowing she is mine. For three nights I was so looking forward to seeing my imaginary cat and I slept on it those nights. I even gave her a name and she was like my familiar like the show. During those three weeks when I thought about having a cat, 
I was like yeah I have one she's the best and went on with my day. Sometimes I would come across people telling me about their cats and inside my head I was like well, my cat is the best she's cuter. So anyway three weeks later, my mom called me and told me she saw a mouse in the kitchen. I was like WTF we have been living in the same building for 20 years. This never happened ever to us and I was like low key. Long story short we had a mice problem for two weeks. And I asked my mom can we get a cat now. She still said no. So, I looked at her like, you're right it's done I am getting a cat. And the next day, my mom saw the tiniest mouse again and ran out of the apartment and looked at me and said, go, get, a cat. So do you see. I persisted and the 3D kept saying no 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 no. I lived in my imagination, loved my cat, she was mine. And physically my mom who pays the rent, and it is her home, denied denied me. A bridge of incidents happened and then I knew I was going to get a cat. And I did in the best part. Mom isn't allergic anymore, and she loves her. Oh, and once we rescued her and brought her home, we haven't seen a mouse in three years. Never again, crazy huh? So please please please, have faith in your imagination, which is the true reality. Love your imagination, have fun and zero attachment with it where you do it and look outside and say where is it. I honestly lived in a different world in my head knowing this was the truth, not giving a DMN if I had her physically in the 3D. I had her already law, so why would I force anything? Nothing outside of you can determine anything in your life. Nothing outside of you can dictate whether or not you can have this or that. I have manifested good bad and in different situations based on what I thought I wanted. Based on my self-concept, state of mind, circumstances do not matter. Just stay persistent in your assumptions. Happy manifesting. Subscribe if you like the video.